Is that Mr. Rowling? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, I was waiting on Mr. Goodman. I get it. Uh, I get it. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What's good, Rizzle fam? It's your boy, Big Man. And yet again, Kodak Black is in some trouble with the law. This time, an arrest warrant was issued with his name, and he appeared in front of the court just yesterday. Even though he made it look silly, he could face some serious consequences. Kodak was caught slipping some time ago, and ever since then, he had to be very careful about his behavior. However, it seems like he made yet another mistake, and this one's gonna cost him a trip to court. When he showed up, he and his lawyer made quite an interesting case. They told the judge that they mixed up the samples that the positive result that they got really wasn't Kodak's. Here's the deal. So the South Florida rapper Bill Capri, better known to the hip-hop world as Kodak Black, allegedly violated his bail conditions because he filled a drug test earlier in February. Kodak, what do you have to say about your arrest? Any message to your fans, Kodak? Wearing a mask and flanked by security guards, rapper Kodak Black walking out of the Broward County Jail Saturday. He did not answer any questions about his Friday arrest in Fort Lauderdale on drug charges. You see, Kodak was originally charged with one count of drug trafficking on July 16th, 2022, after he was found with 14 to 24 grams of oxycodone in his possession and 75 Ks worth of buckaroos and cash. At least that's what his arrest warrant said. The police weren't really sure what Kodak was doing with that amount of oxycodone, but they suspect he was involved in some trafficking activity, to say the least. Regardless, in order to get out of jail for the illegal possession of drugs, he had to pay the bond. But another part of his bail was that he would be subject to random drug tests, just to make sure he's not using them or having anything to do with them. Kodak's lawyer made an argument for his client, then he even tweeted about it shortly after they made a deal happen for Kodak. His tweet said, Never judge a case based on an arrest. There will always be additional facts and circumstances that give rise to a defense, especially in this case. We'll get him a bond today and move forward with resolving the matter quickly. And as was expected, the police had to set up a date for a random drug test. It was on the 3rd of February this year, but surprise, surprise, Kodak Black did not show up to the drug test. However, after a few days, on the 8th, he did show up, and he did a drug and alcohol test then. But sadly for Kodak and his bail, the results showed that Kodak had some traces of fentanyl in his blood. Because of that, Kodak's release has been revoked, and the arrest warrant came in immediately from Broward County Judge. He showed up in front of the judge to try and convince her that this was all a mistake on the side of the people who did the test with him on the 8th. According to him, the people in charge saw somehow managed to mix up the samples, and as a result, someone else's sample got confused with Kodak's. To resolve this issue, the judge ordered Kodak another test, given that he would provide his hair sample and wait for the results. However, Kodak actually decided against it. Instead, he's going to go into a rehab facility for 30 days after his show ends at Rolling Loud. But before leaving the court building, he decided to have some fun. And believe it or not, he asked the judge if he can have some Jolly Ranchers before leaving the room. Is that Mr. Rowling? Yes, Your Honor. I'm, I was waiting on Mr. Goodman. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Some people online use this situation to make fun of Kodak. One person commented, whatever he does is funny. This dude is literally a modern day Rick James. And another person made fun of the fact that Kodak appears in front of the court way too often. Definitely not his first time in court. He was strolling around like a regular guy at City Hall. And the question remains, did Kodak Black really use drugs or was this all a mix up? What if he used some other drugs, just not fentanyl, yet he still had fentanyl in his system? It makes something that's weaker because obviously drug dealers trying to get their profits so it's a little weak they put a little fentanyl in it and it's it's like a booster almost damn near you know what i mean it's making shit hit obviously if you put weight if you not way too much you put a little bit more than what you should you could kill somebody but him having fentanyl found in a system doesn't necessarily mean he was just taking fentanyl, right? It well, such an argument can be made, and DJ Act definitely went down that route. If you ask him, there's a possibility that Kodak actually took some other drugs or pills that were either laced with fentanyl or had trays of fentanyl inside of them. If you think about it, that's not illegal, and it's for sure not Kodak Black's fault if that's actually the case. He couldn't have known about it, and the fact that it happened was just bad luck. Then there are others who are perhaps less biased than Act, given that the two have some connections and they they do communicate a lot. One fan online said that Kodak should grow up and leave the petty stuff in the past. It's time to mature. Come on, Kodak, we rooting for you. Keep growing. Nobody want to see you behind bars or worse. I won't tell you how to live your life, but let's be real. Not many people get pardons from the president. There ain't no reason to keep going back. And that is true. Kodak did get pardoned by the former president of the U.S., Donald Trump. It happened because Kodak gave out 50K in donations, and the president thought it would be suitable to let him go. According to Kodak, the president realized that the charges were Petty, he told in an interview. Trump just fucked with me. Like, 
I pull the trunk and you know, you go through the head, through my shit. I'm just like, oh man, ain't he have to send me there. But then again, maybe Kodak was actually doing drugs and the test was in fact correct. Perhaps that is the reason why I rejected to do another drug test and took to rehab route instead. We sure hope that he gets better soon and that he leaves that drug stuff alone. And the last comment suggested Kodak is better than that. And he definitely doesn't need to be doing stuff like that in his life. But what y'all think about this weird situation he found himself in? You think that Kodak took one month of rehab? Does he really have some issues or do you think his lawyer advised him to do it? Let us know about it in the comments section below. Did you enjoy our video? If so, make sure to check out our other videos on our channel and subscribe if you want to get notified immediately when we drop a new one. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to keep it rizzle.